Hello, I'm Candice, and today I have Haras with us, our official game reviewer, and today he has quite the lineup of new releases coming out for the video gaming community. So Haras, what do we have first on the list? Well, I think a really big thing that's happening is, as you know, Apex Legends has been out for a while, there's been a few tournaments here and there, um, and they recently made it cross-platform. However, they finally are putting it on Switch this month. Finally! I know, I know, everyone's <laughs> been wanting to, and with this, Pretty much everyone can play with everyone, so that's a pretty big get, in my opinion. That's awesome. So then, tell me a little bit about the game. Yeah, so I mean, if you don't know too much about it, Apex is a Battle Royale type uh, game similar to Warzone or Fortnite, but the main premise is that it takes the uh, movement system from Titanfall, so you can like, it's all about going really fast, you can like slide down hills, run walls all with kind of like Overwatch kind of aesthetic where you have like abilities and stuff like that. Mixed Bunch in. of parkour. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> so then for our next game. It's called Mundown or Moondown. It sounds like German in nature, but um, it's this beautiful, like it's like a horror, horror game, right? But it's like all animated with like pencil and ink drawn. And it's like, it really like pushes the, the creepiness factor of it. But you play as like this like guy who's like basically on like vacation and like, you come into this valley and like weird things start happening. You're just trying to get out, and like that's all I've heard and seen so so far. So I'm, I'm probably gonna buy the game like today, and like who knows? Maybe we'll review it for one of our upcoming reviews. But it looks really cool. It sounds cool because I feel like everyone tries to have the best graphics, but what a different approach to yeah, take to yeah. do in like a sketch like. Feeling. Yeah, like the inkiness I think really makes the shadows and stuff kind of like come out more. Yeah, its own uniqueness. Exactly. That's cool. All right, so then what else? There's a really interesting one come out coming called Paradise Lost. So the whole premise is it's set in like an alternate reality where during World War II, instead of us using the nukes to end it, the Germans actually nuked the whole world essentially. Wow, so yeah. a complete plot twist. Yeah, pretty <laughs> crazy. Um, but basically, the world has been in a nuclear winter for God knows how long. He plays like this 14 year old boy is trying to find his mom. It's kind of, it's really like sad. It's like first person, yeah. so it's like, you know. Um, but you find a bunker that has like all like the information about what happened before the war. So it's almost the game's way of like feeding you the stuff all the while you're trying to find out what happened to your mom. It looks really cool. The graphics look really nice. And I've always been a huge fan of like alternate history twists like yeah, that. Yeah, so. that's really cool. I mean, it, it also takes such a different approach at a war game. Yeah. Where it's more of telling a story. Like, it sounds like there's more of a story there than yeah. any other just war zone. Exactly. It's 100% like exploration. You're finding out more about this world through exploration. Wow. And I would have never imagined that there'd be a way to like put yourself in such a difficult spot and then yeah. be able to put it into a video game and it still be enjoyable too. Exactly. But, but al almost educating. Yeah, 100%, 100%. That's really awesome. And what do we have next? Uh, a big one that a lot of people have been excited about, especially with the Monster Hunter movie coming out, I think uh, it was last month, is uh, Monster Hunter Rise. Uh, it's coming on Switch. Um, it's gonna be the next like main game in the franchise. So everyone's pretty excited, it's going straight to Switch, there's no like issues of which console it's gonna be on. And um, it's set in like a Japanese kind of era, so like everyone's got like these like cool like samurai looking armor and stuff. And it's gonna be pretty pretty widespread, everyone's really excited about it. That's awesome, I, it's been about three years since I think I've even played Monster Hunter, and even at that I didn't play much, but yeah. I it's crazy to think of what it's going to look like now. Yeah, it's it's, it's come a long way, both graphics-wise and even gameplay-wise. I remember the older ones, not just being tough, but also being like really meticulous, where there's a lot of like changes they made to make it more easy for the, a gamer to get into it, so. Okay, yeah, that's exciting. I always love when an old game that was already super good just mm -hmm. because they got it right, they had the story right, everything. Yeah. And then when they recreate it, you just hope that it'll only be able to go up because with technology. And yeah. if it was already good then, they have it's, to take it to the next it's level. It's only gonna get better, yeah. Exactly. Have you seen the movie? I have not, I really want to. I was kind of worried. Um, a lot of people were like, always like, oh, you know, video game movies are never good. Like Street, the Street Fighter movie was so bad. But I heard really good things about the Monster Hunter movie that like it's still like modern, but like it has an interesting twist on the whole premise. So okay, I'll yeah. be curious to see if the movie has any ties into the new game. That would be cool, actually. That'd be 
pretty smart move yeah. doing that. Well, do you have, I think you have another one for us? Yeah, um, so this month actually, there was a demo that came out for a game called Outriders. Um, that's coming out, I believe, next month, late, late next month. But I'm really personally really excited for it. Um, the whole premise is it's a bunch of like human colonists like left Earth to find a new planet. Um, on that planet, there's like this crazy like storm that like either fries you or gives you powers. <laughs> yeah, it, okay. there's, like, there's like no in between. It's super cool. But the whole thing is like, that I'm really excited about is it's like a shooter looter. So they're using um, Gears of War, a really kind of old game at this point. Um, it's tactics where it's like third person, you run around, take cover. But they also have like um, Destiny's idea of powers. So you have like, certain people that can like spawn like fire things or like cut with like a blade of electricity. Okay. So it's really cool they mix that in along with it, like I said before, being on launch day, it's gonna be cross-platform, which is like, uh, that, that should be the standard. That's awesome. I know, I wish forward. every game, just as soon as it comes out, have yeah. it ready for everything. But. Yeah, and it seems like that's what the community is going towards, but I'm really excited because all your progress in the demo just carries right into the game. Oh wow! Yeah, so like I don't have to like restart a new character or anything. So. Oh, oh, that's super exciting then. That yeah. would be that's that one seems like it could definitely be up my alley. I always like a alternate universe kind of thing. Yeah. Almost seems a bit spacey. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Okay. It's like aliens and stuff. It's, <laughs> yeah. it's, it's, it's super dope. Wow, well that one sounds. These are all good. I don't. You had yeah. such a good lineup for us today. I try. I try. I mean, the only, the only real last big one that I'm excited for, and I'm sure everyone who had N64 is excited for, is Pokemon Snap. They made a reboot for it, and like, I mean, if you, if you guys had don't know the premise, it's really simple. You go through uh, different terrains, you take p cute pictures of Pokemon, the better picture you take, the more points you get, the more you can unlock. It's pretty straightforward, but like, it's one of those like, really feel-good games that I think everyone really needs this year. Yeah, I, yeah, <laughs> I would have to agree. Yeah. That's what I always love about Pokemon is it's so big and, and all, I mean, every gender plays it. Mm -hmm. It's not, there's no... There's no bias or anything. Yeah, yeah. And, but at the same time, all of the Pokemon, like you said, are made to be so adorable. Yeah. <laughs> so it's what gives Pokemon its own unique area of video gaming. Exactly. So I... I I loved the original game, so I'm sure everyone's gonna be excited for the new one. I'll have to try it. You I'll have to try give it. this one a go. Yeah, definitely. And is that it? Yeah, that that's all I've got. This obviously is a few more uh, later in like after April, but we can get to that once we get closer. Well, awesome. Thank you so much, Haras. This has been awesome. I already have a few that I've kept in the back of my mind that Sweet. I'll have to give a go. Maybe we'll have to see how we uh, stand up against each other for yeah, some for of sure. them. Yeah, for sure. That'd be awesome. <laughs> we can, play, we can like go raiding and Outriders together. I would love it. All right. Well, thank you so much. Thank you, everyone, for listening. This was Horace, and I'm Candice. We'll talk to you soon.